What is it with you guys? What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put them in their place. Bunch of dominant alpha male horse shit. And it all ends the same way. But don't look at me. I ain't that guy. Oh, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of pissing matches, too. Do I? are not all like that. There are good men, too. My friend Lee. He was a good man. Well, I wish I had had a chance to meet him. Me, too. I wish he was here now. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah? I'm sorry. For what? I'll be right back. And for what? You don't make any sense. You can't blame yourself. It wasn't your fault. No. Not completely. I could have done more. And that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones. And I gotta live with it. Alright. This should work. It's perfect. What'd I miss? Hmm? Uh, nothing much. You know, complaining, mostly. I was just mentioning how cold it is lately. Yeah. Good thing he got that cool jacket, huh? I'm sure most of that'll come out with a little soap and water. I'm fine. Hey, Clem. Go over and see if you can change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. Maybe he'll let you do it. Okay. That a girl. That's gonna sting, but only for a second. It's gonna clean it. Oh, I know what it does. It's gonna suck. It's gotta get done. Go on. You can do it. I was thinking we'd go with Alvin Jr. What do you think? Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean, Rebecca was so out of it she hadn't settled on her name. Huh, yeah. I like it. Alvin Jr. it is. Do you like that? Well, I think AJ approves. What do you, uh, got there? Because I think I'm all right. I mentioned it earlier. Bonnie. I'm changing your bandage. Sounds like I don't have much choice in the matter. You don't. You shouldn't have to do stuff like this. Shouldn't have to do a lot of things. All right. Let's get it over with. Hopefully it don't scare this little guy. Or you. So how's it look? I still gonna be pretty when this heals? I'm glad Carver's dead. We saw to that, didn't we? I'm guessing this is going to be the shitty part. It might sting a little. You think? <sighs> Holy fucking hell! <sighs> you need to stop squirming. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You're right. Sorry about the language, Junior. You're gonna be tougher than me when you're grown. I'm gonna expect you to be more of a gentleman than I am. But man, does that smart. He can hear a few bad words. I've heard plenty. Yeah. 
That shouldn't have been the case. I should have gave myself up. Alvin didn't have to die like that. I'm gonna think about that every time I look at Alvin Jr. here. Alvin should be here, raising this boy. It should be him. Carver's the one who did it, not you. Yeah, I suppose. But I can't help but feel guilty. All done. Thank you, sweetie. Yep. Are we ready to go? Let's head out. No, that's all you. Wouldn't have guessed that'd work. Me neither. I think he likes you. Calmed right down for you. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. Here, I got them. Come on over. It's safe. <clears throat> Today's my birthday. Near as I can tell, at least. Happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. Thanks. So, that makes you... what? 27? That's... that's right. I'm surprised you remember. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork, waiting to collect. Probably. I'd have liked to go to college. What did you study? Majored in art history. That's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. You get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. I was saving it for a special occasion, and all it being your birthday and all, figure this is as good a time as any. I'd like a sip. I mean, after you, obviously. Really? No. Oh, what's a sip gonna hurt? You are not drinking. That is that. Feel a little guilty taking the first. Whoa, uh... wait! You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the, uh... Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. <clears throat> <clears throat> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way. And to the hope that we see them again. Someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah? I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That was... Well... I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. I can take it. Nah, you stay warm. Clem, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. A good thing. She saved our ass. 
I know. I know. I just don't know what she's getting at all this. She usually travels by herself. That has to be hard. Maybe she's just lonely. Well, that explained a few things. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing. Ed was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and guts. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Man, that's longer than I'd last at this point. Hey. All right, Pat, it wasn't 10 minutes. Come on. We got a little one around. Sorry. Forget I said anything. I know what you guys are talking about. I certainly hope not. You're talking about kissing stuff. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, that, that is exactly it. Was there any kissing? You shut your mouth right now, the both of you. There, there, little guy. Shh. Shh, I got you. I got you. Hey. Oh, hey, Clem. Just, uh, needed some air. Kenny, there's air everywhere. I'm sorry for, for how I acted back there after Sarita was... I just... I, I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry. I mean, you did what you could. You tried to help, and I blamed you for it. I'm so, so sorry. I... I could have done more. No, don't say that. You did everything you could. I'm sorry if anything I said made you feel any different than that. It just makes me feel awful. I know I can be a real shit sometimes. Stop. No. It's true, but I... I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there a whole lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him. From my family. But I'd give anything for one more second with them. Play catch with Duck. Touch Katja's face. Anything in the world. I miss Duck too. He was a good friend. And I haven't had too many of them. He was a good boy. Pure. Just wanted folks to be happy, that's all. Boy like that. Thrown into a world like this. It's gonna be different with him. He's gonna get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. I can handle watch on my own. You should come too. I don't know. Come on. It'll be good for everyone. Yeah, okay. They expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. Probably been a while for everyone. Will it work? That depends. What is it? It's rum? Probably. I don't know. I, it might be awkward. I wasn't expecting to... 
you know. Why? Because you made it with Luke? What does that even mean? What's the it? You know. Yeah, because I made it with Luke. It's not a big deal. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? That's really good. Have you had any? You want to sip? It's okay. It just might burn a little. I'll feel it in your nose. Mm, sure. <laughs> you okay? Uh oh, busted. I better take that back. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? I was dumb. Earthquake or something. They're okay. Don't worry. We got some walkers behind us. That's only a few of them. We should be all right. Let's just get to the house. Hey, stay with us. That's two less to deal with. Just stay spread out and we'll be fine. Hey! Motherfucker! Shit! He's gonna kill him! Uh, Kenny! Get back here, you piece of shit! I should let you drown, you piece of shit! Stop him, Kenny! Well, they made it. Don't come over here. Hey, I can make it. It's it's fine. You sure? Yeah. You got walkers on the way. Let me help it's too you. Too thin for both of us. I just I just gotta be careful. Oh! Luke, no! Stop! Stop! I'm fine. I'm fine. No, you're not. I just gotta pull myself out. The walkers are almost here. Hurry! Yeah, no. You ain't helping. You need to help. No! Clam, You're go! Fall through. Go help no, him! No, Clam, Clam, do not! Just go back for him! You're lied! You Stop can do telling it. her that! Clem, look at me! Pull out your gun and shoot those damn walkers, okay? Just give me a little time. Clem, you can make it, but you need to go! No! Now! Clem, it's too dangerous! Clementine, stop! Clementine! I got you. Get come on. Blue. Come on, you're gonna be okay. Go oh, to the house. We need a fire. Oh, fuck, she's gonna fucking freeze to death. Mike and Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it. I've seen that look before. Son of a bitch! 
I've seen it too. A few times. Then you know what's about to happen. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy too. Once. Probably had a nice job and a nice pretty wife. But then all this happened. And one day he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. <coughs> Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. Seems like you've done that before. You wanna try? No way. It's gonna puke. Clem, no. Hold it like this. Hey. Hi. <laughs> My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. It's not gonna puke. <coughs> it puked. It puked. Gross. We went back to house. Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? What the fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Penny, it's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. We came this far. We're not going back. We don't have to leave right now. Let's just sleep on it. Well, that sounds sensible. Damn it, we don't have time. Says you. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arbo? Ooh, oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He's too dangerous to bring. At this point, you might be right. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. God damn it! Kenny, don't listen to them! You better talk some sense into him. For his sake. God damn it! God damn it! You stupid fucking... Get the fuck out of here! It's me! Clem! Sorry, just... Give me a second. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. I don't understand them either. I know. I know, Clem. Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. I know. You're right. Someone's got to keep this group together. That kid's depending on us. <sighs> I 
wish Lee was here. What do you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me to try to keep the group together. And to keep my hair short. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew. And what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now grown up. Uh, I felt pride. A pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. Something has to be out here. We'll find it, Kenny. I knew I could count on you, Clem. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on. Let's get some sleep. So we gotta be ready. What's going on? Easy. Easy now. Step back. Clown. Shit. What are you doing? I got the rest of it. Clem. We're just leaving. Keep it down, all right? That's everything we have. Listen, I just gotta get away from that guy, Clem, okay? Who, Kenny? Clem, damn it, just... We don't have time for this. Just... Just be quiet, Clem, please. Just a bad dream, sweet pea.
What was it about? Duck? He's bit. We don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. He's going to die. I know it. You don't know that? I feel bad. Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey. You didn't mean it. Lee? Hmm? Why did Lily do that to Carly? I don't know. She was sad, Clem. That can make people angry sometimes. Because of her dad? Yeah. Well, people don't always make sense. How come? Because bad things happen to everyone. And it's hard to keep being yourself after they do. Do you think we should have let Lily stay? I don't think so. I don't know. It wasn't easy. I don't know if we did the right thing. How can you tell? Well, it's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't the right answer. I hate math. <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. Part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. Even if sometimes, that means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. I'm scared, Lee. What can I tell you to make it better? That you won't leave me. I wouldn't do that. I promise. Everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> well, let's try to get some sleep. Hey, Lee. down shut up she's awake <laughs> hey you clam oh thank god what happened that piece of shit rusky shot you we had to run the truck to keep you warm how do you feel couldn't find the bullet. It must have gone clean through. It'll burn a while, but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. I mean, I expected it from the Russian. But Mike? I could tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. Yeah, well, who would steal our food and shoot a kid? We never should have thrown in with trash like that in the first place. I can't believe they did that. I don't think they knew what they were doing, except trying to get away. Yeah, well, they're gone now. Good fucking riddance. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to House. Carver's camp? 
The fuck kind of plan is that? I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And we actually know where it is. I don't care where we go. Just please, stop arguing. She's the one that's going off. Because you won't listen to a thing I'm saying. What's that? You're talking into my bad ear, sweetheart. Jackass. Oh, I still can't hear you. Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howe's in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from my cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy, with my little eye, an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You wanna die out here? Better than waiting to die next to you. Leave him alone, Jane. No, Clem, it's fine. Let her run her mouth. I am done playing games with you, Jane. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Watch the road. I am, goddammit. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I am so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita died, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Nobody who died is anyone's fault. We we all wanted to be together and it just went bad. But we owe it to them to try to make the best of this. I'm sorry, Clem, but I can't put up with this bullshit anymore. Oh, the feeling's mutual. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't Mike, true. Bonnie... Sarita? Fucking liar, that ain't true! Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family! Fuck you! You fucking piece of shit! Go to hell, you son of a bitch! Jesus! You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you alright? Yeah. Penny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. We've got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. Right? If you're going, go now. Kenny! Asshole. God! I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. I tried, but I just can't. You're both losing it. Clem, everyone's like that around him. You know that. Clem, we could leave. Right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck! Get us out of here! I don't know how to drive! See that pedal on the floor? Step on it! Oh, just sit there!
You all right? Yeah. Where is he? Where's the kid? He's with her. You left him with her? Jane? Christ! Dane! You okay? Where's the kid? Dane! Where is he? Where is he? He's... What are you saying? No! No! Not again. Not again. Clem, look at me. No matter what happens, just stay out of it. Okay? Just trust me, Clem. How could you let this happen? You have to trust me. You're gonna see what he really is. Fuck anywhere near me, Clem. I don't need permission. Don't you come near me, you son of a bitch. Kenny! Get the fuck up! Fuck you! Don't! <laughs> Let go! Jane! Asshole! Fucking dare! Fuck you! Oh my god! This is all your fucking fault! Piece of shit! Go! Fucking psycho! This is on you! Stop! You don't have to do this! I'll fucking kill you! Jesus. He's gone. 
Are you okay? I'll live. Right behind you. Let me see him. I thought... I thought we lost you, buddy. I thought that Jane might have killed him. I, I was thinking the same thing, Clem. That's why I was so fired up. She never wanted the baby around. She, she made that clear. Yeah, I, I guess, but... I just... Why would she... She was nuts, Clem. A disturbed person that had her own agenda, that was looking out for herself. Shh, shh, shh. It's alright, buddy. Hey, listen, I didn't want that to happen either. I thought she killed Alvy Clem, and at any point she could have stopped what was happening by saying he was fine. She wanted a fight. I never, ever hurt you. You understand? I was protecting you. You believe me, right? Just imagine what she did to Alvy. Everything just went black. You were right about her. She was... unstable. Always just looking out for herself. Yeah. I wanted to be wrong. I did. But it was clear from the start. Put some miles between us in this place. Just a little further. We're almost there. I sure hope that's a cook fire. Oh, we could use a hot meal right about now. Might be all I need. Come on. I'll race you to the top. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Come on, Alvy. We got this. You cheated! Holy shit! We did it, Clem! That's... that's gotta be it! I... <laughs> it's about time. You were telling me. What are we waiting for? Come on! This one's gonna be the one. Look at those walls! Finally feel safe, Clem. Be able to sleep at night. That's far enough. Just stay still, Clem. Do as she says. Put your hands up, Clem. Drop your weapons. Approach the gate. Just a couple of people at the front gate. They don't look like trouble. Sounds good. Hi, I'm Edith. Name's Kenny. And this here's Clementine. Hello. 
Oh, what a handsome boy. Look at him. What's his name? Alvin. Junior. Oh, he's gonna be a little heartbreaker when he grows up. Is there someone named Krista in there? I don't think so, dear. So, this is Wellington, right? A lot of people call it that. Okay, so what do we do to get in? Well, I'm afraid this is the part where I give you the bad news. What the hell's this? That's some supplies. Food, water, what? some medicine, a first aid kit. Why are kit. you giving us this? Unfortunately, our community isn't accepting new members. We're over capacity as it is, and there's just not enough to go around if we keep bringing people in. Things might change in you a few months. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm sorry. I really am. This is bullshit. I know, dear. But I don't make the rules. Do you know what we've been through? You have any idea what it took for us to get here? And now... Now you're just gonna turn us away. Look, I don't mean to be harsh, but... A whole lot of other people went through a whole lot of stuff to get here too, and... They all got here before you. And, and don't think you're the first people we've had to turn away. You're not. But that doesn't mean I'm not... Real, real sorry to have to do this. If it, if it was up to me, I... Just take the kids! What? Please, just take the kids! It's too dangerous out here for them. Kenny, it's I... It's just a little girl and a baby boy. You can make room for that. You can take back the supplies you gave us if that helps. Please, just... I need them to be safe. And it's safe in there. I know that. Just ask someone, please. They won't make it out here. Please! I'll... I'll ask. Just give me a second. <sighs> you don't need to look at me like that. We're not staying here without you. Yes, you are. No, we're not. Yes, you are! It's safe here. You two will be safe. That's what's important now. We can take the children, but... Just the children. I made the case that... Thank you! Thank you! Listen, okay? Listen. This is your chance. For you and this boy. I don't trust myself to keep you too safe. Not anymore. Please, I'm begging you. Please, stay here. Stay here, where it's safe. Where you two will have a chance. Oh, no, no! Why are you doing this? Because it's the only way. For both of you. Think about Alvy here. Please, Clem. Just do as I'm asking. This one last time. You'll meet people. You'll make friends. People better than me. No! We're leaving! All of us! Together! Claire, please. It's safe here. Do you need to Stop. think about the- Stop! Okay? We're not staying, so just stop! That's that. Sounds like... Sounds like she means business. Yeah, it does. Come on. We're leaving. I'm only supposed to give out one per group, but... Look. If you're in the area, check back in a few months. We might be accepting people then. Thank you for the help. And, uh, sorry for the language. Well, it's a shitty situation. We're all doing the best we can. You all stay safe out there.
you're as stubborn as a damn mule. Yeah? Wonder where I got that from. <laughs> <laughs>